Hey guys, Jabola Channel here. How's everyone doing today? Um, I'm going to do a follow-up video. I say I promise. I don't remember promising, but I said I was going to. So I guess that's kind of a promise. Uh, regarding the Nintendo 64. Yeah, so let's check this out. Um, it's working. I got my AV cable. Yeah, my videoing is not that great. Got the AV cable, got the AV selector back there. I've had that for a long time. Got all these cool games. You got Turok Rage Wars, you know, I told you all about that. I got Castlevania. I've got Battle of Naboo, which is cool. Got Donkey Kong 64 on the way, and hopefully some Super Mario 64. And I got some Zelda 64 up in here. The battery works on this. It actually keep some memory so that's cool I don't have to go through and like uh, take it apart and redo the whole battery thing you know I think that's fantastic but check it Castlevania 64 is working there's Carrie Fernandez right there no you know relative of Sifa Fernandez you know Reinhardt Belmont relative of um, all the Belmonts including Simon you know I want to talk about Nintendo real quick, because <clears throat> when I first got in, into Nintendo, there was just a few games that were like, uh, what I really loved, and uh, Mario was one, and Zelda, and Metroid, and Castlevania, those four, those were my babies, you know, I went to the Super Nintendo, you know, upgraded, had all of them there, you know, the uh, Zelda on um, Super Nintendo was amazing. The Metroid on Super Nintendo was mind-blowing. And all the different Marios on Super Nintendo were cool. They were fun. But I got into that Zelda Metroid Castlevania thing. You know, there's some Castlevanias on Super Nintendo, I think. Maybe there weren't. Oh. And then got us a Castlevania on this uh, Nintendo 64, and I think that's cool. I love it. It's not the best Castlevania ever. But it's still fun. It's still really fun. And then we got the Nintendo Switch. And uh, so I bought the Wii a long time ago. Sold it for Twilight Princess, which is cool. I never bought a GameCube. But I bought the GameCube, Metroid, Prime, whatever. And could play it. I could play it on the Wii. And that was cool. And I still have that actual game. I just don't have a Wii or a GameCube. And it was a 3D Metroid. It was nuts. It was cool. And then you got... Um, the Switch doesn't have a Castlevania. They finally came out with Metroid Dread, which was, is really cool. I played it. I love it. And they got Mario Odyssey and some other Marios. They've got um, Breath of the Wild which is amazing. I love Breath of the Wild. I've been playing that for a year and a half now. It's so cool. Um, I wonder if they'll ever come out with a Castlevania. Symphony of the Night was cool. I had a, a Game Boy Advance, and I had Symphony of the Night on Game Boy Advance, and also I had Symphony of the Night on a PlayStation. And I loved it. I just, I don't have that PlayStation anymore, or that game anyway. And it's like, wow, but move back into this so uh, this is cool I'm totally retro so my son just brought me a controller pack today right and it wasn't working it didn't work so uh, I was lucky on Turok Rage Wars there is a selection to restore pack and I did that and it restored the pack I was trying to get it to work on Castlevania and, and it wouldn't for whatever reason so then I went to Turok, and it actually um, allowed me to erase it, basically format it, whatever you want to call it. And then when I went to Castlevania, I went back to Castlevania, it said abnormal pack. So it gave me that flag, that error message, and I was able to like clean it up there. So now, you know, control power works. I was thinking maybe the battery was gone or something. I was going to have to like do something with that, but no. It works. Controller pack, five bucks. You know, these controllers are new refurb controllers, and they're beautiful. I love them. Um, 
can't think of the brand, but they were got from they were bought from Game Exchange in Tahlequah, Oklahoma. But uh, you know what I've always hated. Okay, I'll share this about the N64 controller is the analog six great ish. Why is it right there? I don't like it. How come it can't be over here, like an Xbox or a PlayStation, and then your D-pad? Your D-pad could be right there, you know? I don't know. It's always got that, it's like a, a trident. I don't know. It's like a trident. And it's just, it's, it's very hard to be very precise with, in my opinion. It's just an opinion, you know? But hey, I'll say, you know, we got Castlevania working right now. And um, all these games work, oh. You know, cartridge. I cleaned them, cleaned all the contacts. I went through with alcohol swabs and boom, yeah, that helps. Got some dirty dirt, especially off this one. This is a very dirty cartridge, but it works. But like Battle in the Boot, check this. And I've never played this before, and I really like it. It's cool. It's, um, so. This does have the expanded memory pack, so that's nice. My first expanded memory pack came came as a bundle with my Turok game a long time ago. I've had three other units, but I'm gonna say this one means the most to me because this is a gift from my wife and my family. They, uh, you know, really, really had done themselves. So this saves on the actual cartridge, not the controller pack. I'm gonna erase the game. Yes, I'm really sure, because it's not my game. So, we're gonna start a new game. We're gonna name it. Back, yes. So this game's really cool. The music's amazing. There's a slight buzz to this before I clean the contacts. Same thing with Castlevania. So using an alcohol swab and cleaning them really does make a difference. Letting it evaporate and not you know, putting it right in the console after you clean it, you know? details I love this one this is cool see I mean wow it works this is a cool game I love it I'm just going to close it up I don't know if that's good or bad for your console at all um Turok, Turok Rage Wars is like a first person shooter game it's cool but it's kind of boring I don't really like it you know Zelda 64 I think a lot of people know that check it it's working you got your ocarina, and then you play those notes on that. It does magical stuff. How cool is that? Oh, man. 
I'm totally stoked. I'm super geeked right now. This is just so amazingly cool. And I don't know. I hope a lot of people can have kind of those cool ass moments, you know? And um, be able to have some uh, you know, nostalgia. I think part of moving forward and ahead is feeling a good about where we've been, you know? But anyway, Nintendo's working great. Got the controller pack working. Just kind of did a little magic trick on it, and it worked. I'm glad I don't have to take that apart. These uh, controllers are really good, these aftermarket ones from Game Exchange. This is a Gobo or Jobo, but it's just like the original one. It's same stuff, you know, same stuff. Yeah. So yeah. Jabolo Channel. Glad you guys could hang out. And um, I don't know, I'll find something else cool to post. Turbo sunglasses. Yeah. From the eighties. High rule hat. Why? Why rule? High rule. It's like saying high rule. Kind of like I'm high in a room, but I don't know. Ain't I? So, you know, it's kind of one of the things. Hey guys, appreciate y'all being here. Everybody have a great day. Hopefully, you guys can have some dips into nostalgia and have just, you know, such a great experience like I have. And uh, yeah, that ocarina is like just blowing my mind. My son actually created an ocarina on a 3D printer, and it plays. It's just not in very good tune. It's, it's probably the holes are probably off a little bit, but you know, that's cool, right? All right, guys, y'all take care. Appreciate you. Subscribe, like, do all that fun stuff. YouTube's not my jam. I'm not making money off of it, you know, or some people are. But hey, it's always cool to be liked, right? Yep, yep. Y'all take care. Keep the peace. Be kind to one another. And I'll see you soon.